Hi guys and welcome to Rich Reviews. So today we're going to talk about the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and how to connect this microphone to the iPhone 10 and above to ensure that you get full validated stereo input sound. So let's get into the video. Before we get into the contents of this video, please subscribe guys if you like what you see and please hit the like button. Also ensure that you set notifications so that you receive all future notifications for new incoming videos. This is very important to us YouTubers. This is the way how we get recognized in the Google algorithms. Thank you guys. Now the Apple iPhone 10 and above have the ability to record in stereo audio sound. What this means is if you have a single micro microphone connected to the iPhone, that single channel is distributed across both the left and right stereo channels. You don't actually get stereo audio because you've only got one single audio source, but it actually is distributed across both the left and right channels. This gives you a fuller audio soundstage. Now the issue arises with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus that when you connect it to the Apple iPhone, the 10 or above, it's possible to get a single mono audio channel distributed across only one of the left and right channels, thereby you get a lot thinner sound. Now I noticed this issue with the VideoMic Pro Plus when I was recording my first videos for this channel. I noticed that some videos were coming in with a mono audio channel and some were coming in with the stereo with the left and right audio channels populated. I couldn't understand why this was, I performed some research across the internet and I couldn't see any information there. So I decided to perform my own research and, and notice these inconsistencies. Now if you don't close down all versions of the camera application before you connect to the VideoMic Pro Plus, then you'll have videos with just a mono audio input channel. Now we're recording in mono anyway because it's, we're not using stereo microphones, it's only one microphone. Now what happens with the, with the Apple iPhone, especially the iPhone 11, because the iPhone 11 has the capability to record in stereo, audio stereo, the, a single microphone will populate both left and right channels if, if configured and connected properly. So what we're seeing here is we're seeing instances where the VideoMic Pro Plus only populates one of those audio channels. Now what this means is when you're editing your video you notice that the sound isn't as full because obviously you only have one of those channels that's populated. As I said before it's not true stereo audio sound because we're only using one microphone but that microphone does populate or should populate both the left and right stereo channels. In post you can modify it using your video editing tool to enhance the audio but it's never as full as if you had a full stereo left and right channel. Now here you can see the details for a video recorded with just a mono audio channel. This is because the preliminary stages that I've detailed whereby closing the video application was not performed. Now here you can see a video with a stereo audio channel where both the left and right audio channels were populated. This provides a much fuller sound and is very noticeable when you're editing in, in, in applications such as Final Cut Pro. This video assumes that you've already set the iPhone to actually record in stereo sound and you do this by going into settings, camera and then setting the option to record in stereo. That is the first thing you need to do. So if that setting isn't already configured, then you need to go into settings, camera and set the option to record in stereo. So to ensure you have stereo sound, to ensure that the left and right channels are both populated with the same mono audio input from the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, you need to close down all instances of the camera application in the iPhone first of all, and make sure that the VideoMic Pro Plus is switched off and is not connected to the iPhone. So following closing down all instances of the camera app, you then open up the camera application select the video tab and then you connect the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus using the necessary TRS to TRRS cable. 
Once you've connected the Video Mic Pro Plus microphone, you'll then notice the Video Mic Pro Plus automatically switches on and then you'll be able to record video using stereo audio sound. From that recording session onwards, you should be able to stop and start recording and all recordings subsequently should have stereo audio sound. Now if you switch the iPhone off, you will have to go through this procedure again, close down all instances of the camera application, disconnect the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, wait for it to automatically switch off, and then open up the camera application, select the video tab, and then connect the VideoMic Pro Plus again using the TRS, TRS cable. So guys, I'm just recording this video while walking around in my garden. Obviously I'm in lockdown, so you have to make do with the locations and the environment that you've got as best as possible. But I can't complain, it's a beautiful summer's day, as you can see, and it's got a lovely back garden, so it's not all bad. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you like what you see, and if you like the content of this channel, then please subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you receive all future notifications of incoming new videos. Thank you for watching, guys. Take care and see you in the next video. Peace. Cassie wants to show you the benefits of good stereo audio sound. You gonna make a sound, Cassie? <laughs> Maybe not. See you guys.